things off with the ongoing Russian war with Ukraine. Or as the Russian media says, there is no war, but we are also winning it. <laughs> Ever since Vladimir Putin decided to aggressively crash on his neighboring country's couch, Ukraine has been asking America for bigger and better weapons to help them defend themselves. Now, usually, when you ask America to send you weapons, they'll send them quicker than a restaurant that pre-cooks the food in the morning and then just reheats it when you order it at night. <laughs> but because America and the rest of the world is terrified of starting World War III, rightfully so, they've had to find ways to support Ukraine without being accused of attacking Russia. And so just today, President Biden announced this. This morning, President Biden has announced the U.S. will send another $700 million worth of weapons, defense systems, to the Ukrainian military. Among the newly provided weaponry is the multiple launch rocket system, uh, which is a highly capable long-range system. This has been the subject of debate inside the Biden administration for weeks now, whether or not to provide Ukraine with these more advanced, longer range weapon systems, concerns uh, within the administration that Russia might view this as a provocative step, giving Ukraine the ability to strike within Russian territory. That's why the United States actually sought assurances and secured those assurances from Ukraine that they would not use these, ro these rocket systems to strike Russian targets on Russian territory. Yeah, that's right. Biden made Ukraine promise that they will only use the rockets in Ukrainian territory. They will not use them in Russia. Yeah, so he's basically giving them advanced rockets, like a dad gives his teenager a credit card. He's like, <laughs> now remember what I told you, this is only for gas, groceries, and the strip club. No textbooks this time. <laughs> I don't wanna see that charge again. But this is major help though, $700 million. That's a ton of rockets. Or maybe it's like 10 rockets. <laughs> I never know with military equipment. Like, <laughs> no, you, you never know how much anything costs, you know? It's like when someone tells me they spent $100 at Sephora. I have no idea if that's like one face cream or enough <laughs> eye glitter for a whole season of euphoria. I don't know how much it is. <laughs> and look, I get that America is trying to find the balance between helping Ukraine and triggering its own war with Russia, but still, this is putting Ukraine in a tough spot. Because who knows how easy these missiles are to use? You know, I don't want us to be in World War III just because some Ukrainian soldier entered the distance in kilometers when it was supposed to be in miles. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, oh, 1.6, I meant to put two. <laughs> but I will say, this is good for Ukraine to defend themselves. And this is good for Russia to know they can't just push other countries around. And you know who this is most exciting for? American missiles. Yeah. What a different experience this is gonna be for them. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited to be going overseas for the first time. And the best part is I've been invited. Wow. <laughs> because my dad went to Iraq, but he wasn't invited. And my grandfather, he went to Vietnam. And boy, did they not want him there. But look at me. I got invited to Ukraine. I'm a missile going to Ukraine. They invited me. I'm a good missile in my family. <laughs> My new one-man show, Missile in Ukraine, will be debuting next week. You guys can join in. Thanks for watching.